welcome back to another episode of All the Gear Some Idea. Yeah, boy. We have, we've been on a, a mini adventure, as Lee said in a previous video, and we have done a few videos today. Yeah, it's already. Been good, yeah, like yeah. We've, we've been smashing them this morning. Um, You've got the drone out. Got the drone out. Whether the footage we can use, I don't know. I might just stick all the footage we've got roughly up in one video and just chuck it out there and just see how it goes. Just, just put it out and it, you know, that might mean that someone will go, oh, what he's is this. But it's not mine. We just want to see what footage we can get. I'm nervous with it because it's a lot of money and not mine. Yeah. Um, I think it just it take it will take a bit of time because it'd be pretty cool now to have one out. Oh, we're going off subject. I always do this. Yeah, you know. It's well, Fuck on, mate. We're not on the open road yet, are we? Well, true. This is we're doing another one of the videos we did earlier. There's 20 minutes of us just chatting. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should set up a uh, another channel, the chat channel. Yeah, the chat channel. Yeah. So, um, what we're doing now, after recording some other videos, is we were supposed to do a drive video of how the car handles and all that stuff, wasn't it? Like how, how it feels. Yeah. yeah, as part of like the introduction and yeah. the mini. Yeah, but then we, we, we looked back at the footage and the audio on it wasn't great. No. It was, um, the mics were rubbing on our seatbelts, so we didn't have that in. So we actually mounted the mics on there, there and they seem to be okay there. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, and they are, they're, they're not expensive mics and they're actually pretty good, I've just figured out. Yeah. So, it's much better than not having the mics. Yeah. But yeah, I think, well, like I say, once we start getting a bit bigger and better and can afford to the high-end equipment. I mean, I'm sure the, we'll the, even like the DJI ones are like, and the Rode ones are 200 something quid. It's mad, isn't it? But obviously the quality is there. Oh yeah, but second to none. Yeah, I can't, there's no point doing it when we can spend a little bit of money and buy some that we got. Yeah. So I don't know if you can hear the, um, the knock. I'm sure it's shock. It's like a dead knock. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely shocking. Shocking. Yeah. But yeah, so um, when it comes to driving an R56 Mini, I think what you see is what you get. If you've driven a classic Mini, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. No. Um, but in a sense, it kind of is. That, that makes no sense what we just said whatsoever. I think in a classic Mini, if the suspension is all good, it will handle really well. Yeah. Like, it will be a fun little go kart. And I yeah. think that is trans, that has been put down the line as well. Like, yeah, definitely. I've not driven this, but I have driven another one, as I previously said. And they are fun mm. to drive. Yeah, they're awesome little cars. I mean, I, I've been wanting them for a, a little while. We've been talking about it. And this one come up, the guy wanted to swap it for the night too. So, uh, yeah, we come. I come up. Yeah, sorry, he came to me and had a look at it and agreed to um, have a bit of a deal. So uh, that's how we ended up with a Mini Cooper. But um, yeah, going slightly off subject. For for what it is, it's an epic handling car. If you you know you're not you're not too fussed about comfort. You're more about wanting the car to go where you want it to, when you want it to, darting about. That is exactly what this car is for. Drivability. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. In a word, it um, it does exactly what you want it to when you want it to. You, you know, you, the steering is so precise and immediate. I think it's got electric power steering on these models. Um, I think the older ones did as well, but they were like a, a fluid motorized type system. Oh, I can't remember. I know they used to have issues with them on the older ones. I think. Yeah. Whereas I think the electric power steering motor is actually on the rack on these. So. Um, yeah, it's got um, plenty to uh, shout about when it comes to drivability, as George said, and handling. Um, obviously, being this one isn't the turbocharged model, or obviously the previous one all had the superchargers, um, it hasn't got the grunt that perhaps the Cooper S has got. But having said that, there's still ample power for you to have fun. You know, I mean, I'm looking at putting this hopefully on a track at some point, and I'm sure I'll probably do one track day and it'll be like, yeah, I need more power now. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And if it comes to it, I might perhaps sack this one off and get a turbocharged one, or perhaps an earlier supercharged one, or we might buy a turbocharged engine and put that in this one. See what happens. What, what's the most economical way of doing it? I'm sure it'll be a case of replacing the car, but once I do that, <laughs> I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be um, taking the bits off of this that I put on it, I think. 
when he's got a new one. There's a good thing about like coilovers and that, they're interchangeable with the previous model as well. Yeah. Um, I think the chassis are pretty much the same. Um, there were slight differences between this model and the previous model. For instance, the trailing arms on the rear, uh, on this model they're made of aluminium. And um, on the previous model they're actually made of steel trailing arms. Oh, okay. So you've got like a webbed aluminium trailing arm on the R56, which obviously reduces your unsprung weight, which again helps with handling. But um, yeah, not a bit of a nice road now, give it a bit of beat. And the engine in these is a collaboration between Peugeot and BMW. Uh, Peugeot fitted it into the Citroën DS3 and other models. Um, Peugeot did like the 207. Um, it went into 308s as well, I believe. Um, and even the RCZ, um, the Peugeot RCZ had this engine fit to it. But um, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's a very capable engine. Um, the N12, they call it in this variant. Um, Peugeot call it the EP6, and then the turbo version is the N16, I believe, um, in the minis, and the Peugeot call it the EP6 DT, I believe. Um, but yeah, um, in this variant, it's 120 horsepower from the factory, of course, it's probably lost a few of those ponies over the years. But um, yeah, it's plenty of power. The red lines are 6,500 RPM, nothing to be shouting about. But it sounds nice when it gets at the top of a rev range. Um, those of you well aware of the engines are probably well aware of the issues that they have. Um, one being stretch and timing chains. Um, oil leaks is an ample issue on these engines. Um, but yeah, as I say, if you're looking for one, just get one that's been regularly serviced. Get one that's been looked after. If you buy one cheap, like effectively I did, it's going to have issues. You know, don't go out there spending 1500 quid on a car and expecting it to be brilliant because no. it won't. You know, you get what you pay for when it comes to cars. Um, and this is a pure example of that. You know, it's got some issues. Luckily, we've hopefully got the knowledge hopefully. and skills to rectify those issues. Yeah. And um, that's why we can take the risks and go for the cheaper options. And then hopefully, maybe with our videos um, and a bit of mechanical knowledge, you'll be able to do the same. And maybe have some fun along, along the way doing it. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's that's about it really when it comes to the Mini, you know, um, it's a, it's definitely a B road basher, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Take it down a nice B road and just take it to its limits, obviously, you know, within the law. Um, if you want to go further than that, then go get yourself a track day. Um, you know, a nice small track like Brands Hatch or Castle Coombe, I reckon this would be a brilliant little car to go on. Um, but yeah, obviously, so a bigger track with say, like, say like Silverstone or maybe Alton Park, you probably want the Mini Cooper S. I would say it out. needs, um, I would say minor modifications. Like if you're going to take it on track, it's probably okay to take it as it is. But yeah. With suspension, if you had mm. different suspension on it, it was a bit firmer. The suspension's firm already. Yeah. Like just a bit lower, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah, lower your centre gravity. The, the wheels you've got in there are quite skinny. Yeah. So different wheels. Yeah. Wider wheels. Yeah, to make it feel more. More grip. More, yeah more contact with the road or the surface you're driving on. And he obviously a good set of tyres as well. People overlook look tyres a lot, but obviously that is your only point of contact, four points of contact to and the road. It's not even the whole, the whole, it's not people, I think people, because it's the tyres touching the floor, they think, oh, the whole, the whole tyre is, it's not, it's less than that. Yeah. It touches the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the contact patch is, it's like that. you know, it, it's like 10 centimetres round. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like the palm of your hand. That's is, not a lot that you've got a grip with. No. Um, you know, so a decent set of tyres, you know, the more you spend on tyres, you, you notice it, high-end tyres have got excellent grip and obviously they've got different ratings of grip depending on whether you're on wet conditions, dry conditions. And obviously tyres these days have got noise ratings on them as well. But, I mean, I'd say a budget set of track tyres, I'd say a set of Nankang NS2Rs, um, are a good option. Um, if you wanted to go even more budget than that, um, I know Axelera do a track focused tyre, which is almost like a semi, what, uh, semi slick. Verdestein? Verdestein. Yeah, they're any good? I don't know. I, I haven't really looked much into those. I mean, I know from my days working at Porsche, um, the Michelin Pilot Sport uh, 4S's or Pilot Sport 5's, I think they're on yeah. now. Um, and they did like cup tyres, well, oh, Pilot okay. Sport cup tyres. Yeah. But that's like you're talking high end, expensive stuff. Um, but as I say, you spend the money, you get what you pay for. 
yeah. you know, like, like George was saying, the wheels on this car are quite skinny, but if I was to go and put a set of Michelin Pilot Sport Cups on here, I'm sure I could probably run rings around a similar car with budget tyres on purely because of the fact that I could go into a corner yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'd lose less grip under braking, you know, so... Like, the more the more contact you can have, the, yeah. better, the better you're going to have Yeah, the yeah. Fair. Yeah, um, so... Um, we go going actually Ashley Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, I think that pretty much rounds it up, really. Um, what we need to do at some point is um, go through your car history in a video. Oh my god. <laughs> so obviously, we've got the Mini, and Lee said in, a, in the previous video about changing your cars. Yeah. Um, and then if you watch another video, which is Lee's it's a couple of minutes of a trading up story for the, for the Mini. Yeah. Um, I've had lots of, lots of up and downs in my car history. Yeah, so we're gonna have to- Visit that. You're gonna have to visit that mm. uh, uh, another day. Yeah, I think uh, I've been driving 14 years and I've had getting on 70 cars. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, and I think I've probably, at this point, I've around about broken even. <laughs> you know, I've not made loads of money. Sometimes I've earned loads of money. You know, I've had some cars that I've bought cheap, done up and flogged on. Um, yeah, but anyway, we'll get into that in another, yeah, in another, yeah, yeah. another episode. Yeah, I, I, I don't have any cars I've had, but definitely have 70 cars. Um, I don't think it's bang on 70, it might be a bit less than that, it might be a bit more, I don't know. But um, yeah, there's definitely been a few in there. Yeah. Some pretty interesting ones, some rather shocking ones. And a cool, cool ones as well. Yeah, yeah, it's but the awesome ones. We're, um, we are, we get, we get into that. Yeah. We get into that. Yeah, because we can put like pictures up and all sorts. If you've got them. I've got loads, mate. I've got them. Yeah. yeah. We'll give you a little snippet. I once had a Ford Sierra with... Um, that wasn't the car I thought you were going to talk about, but was it absolutely not? fine. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. See, there's so many up there. But yeah, I once had a Ford Sierra Sapphire, which had an Audi 1.8 turbo engine in it. And the conversion was done before I bought it. Admittedly, I did do a little bit of fine tuning with it, put some extra bits on it. Um, but yeah, it... Those I had I, at one point I had four cars at the same time and that was one of them and it kind of got me in a little bit of a rabbit hole so I ended up selling them all up and then just keeping one. Um, yeah, it was a part three golf thing. I had two of them. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I think that's it with your the mini driving bit until you do more bits to it and yeah yeah definitely um, yeah you know if we find some wheels and buy some wheels obviously you'll see that as we go along. Um, we've got lots. We've got lots of ideas for more videos, um, and it literally can happen as it just did then with we should do a uh, these car story stuff. Like it just happens, and it's, it, I think it doesn't cost any money to make these videos either. No, so, uh, no, 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 no. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget like, subscribe, stay tuned. Um, go back and watch previous videos and answer the questions in them because it, we want to be able to improve our channel. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so, yeah. yeah, just thanks for your ongoing support and um, keep watching. Yeah. And uh, are you not entertained? Some people might not be. <laughs> <laughs> On that bomb chill. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you next time. See you later. <laughs>